Pamela Roberts with 4-H News in Jefferson County, and I'm speaking today with Blair Wolfley, who is the director of the Southwest District of Washington State University. And Blair, could you just tell us a little bit about what it is that you do currently in your position? Okay, well, thank you. Uh, the, I think one of the biggest things that I do in this position is I get the opportunity to check with other people to see how they're doing, what they're doing, uh, what they need, and how I can help them be more effective in what they do. Uh, the Southwest District includes uh, 11 counties, starting from uh, starting from Clellan County over to Jefferson County, and then everything south of there to the Columbia River and west of the Cascades. So that's 11 counties, and within that area, there's about uh, there's 25 WSU Extension faculty, and then there's probably an additional 75 or so people who work in support positions and so forth. And you're, you interact with them how? I know that you travel around quite a bit, but describe to us in a little more detail about what your job is like then as a director of such a huge area. Okay. Uh, the opportunity that I have in working with these people is, is, is primarily reviewing program and helping them with, uh, with budget decisions. So, for example, right now, one of the things that I get to do is annually, at least annually, I get to meet with each one of the extension faculty folks and talk about what they have done this last year. And that's one of the most exciting parts of my job, because actually what I do is I get to sit there and I get to listen to them tell me about their success, about what's happened in their community, uh, how they're building programs, how they're changing lives. And, and for me, that's I think that's the most exciting thing that I do, because the other part of my work is, okay, I'm monitoring and managing budgets. I'm helping people find grants. I'm dealing with personnel issues and hiring people. And if there's employee discipline, those type of things are some of the not so fun things that I get to do. But the great part of this is, is getting the reports of the great stuff that's being done by the people who work for WSU Extension in counties where people's lives are and where changes really make a difference. Well, and I know how important all of that support is um, that you provide to people. Um, we talk about that and, you know, you help set a really positive tone for our district. Um, we've been here at this WSU conference at the Puyallup Research and Development Center today. And, and are there some things that you've heard today that speak to trends with the WSU extension? Oh, gosh, Pam. You know, I have worked for Washington State University for this will be 30, this is my 31st year. And one of the things I found interesting today was even though I've been here that long and I've been involved in so many different programs, today just the breadth of stuff that's being done, I mean, programs that are presented, you go, oh, that's right, we do that too, we do that too, the, the, the broad spectrum. I, I, I find that so exciting, yet the challenge within that is, okay, we face budget cuts frequently, okay, fewer dollars, but yet we got more people working and more programs going than we've ever had before. So where, what do we do? Well, we find extra resources uh, by, by, by getting grants from uh, from folks who want to do the kind of work we're, we're working on. Uh, we get help through partnerships of people who need, need things done but don't have either the, uh, the, the knowledge or the experience uh, or the connections to make those things happen. So we do those. So that's, that's a challenge within this but for the future, okay? What's going to happen for the future? We've done a lot of agriculture over the years. I think we'll continue to do that. But I think more than anything else, we'll be involved in helping people figure out how, how do they gain uh, increased quality of life at a time when people are saying, you know, I'm not sure we can guarantee better for the next generation than the current generation is experiencing. And I think that's going to be the challenge for us, is helping people figure out Okay, what, what changes do we need to make? What life adjustments need to, need to happen? Well, that's, that's not all agriculture. That's a lot about people learning to live together and work together and solve problems together. I think that's what's really going to be fun for the future. Blair Wolfley, Director of the Southwest District of WSU. We appreciate your insights and your thoughts. This is Pamela Roberts with 4-H News.